only gone 20 minutes half an hour at the most mm. mrs francis next door keeps an eye open but she's at her sister's do you know what's gone mrs tallett everything the figures can't be wrong i'm not saying they're wrong sir misleading i think he means sir. that's how clear up figures can be massaged sir and massaged no. some of those figures have been mauled to death stafford road claims a 10 percent improvement in their clear up figures on category b theft cases how have they done that, I wonder? Ask them, Frank. I don't need to, I know. Easy pickings? Exactly. Well, I suggest you make life easier for all of us and do the same. There are manpower considerations, sir. Questions of priority. Nobody is more aware of that than I am, Derek. But I am not prepared to go to the next area management meeting with a set of poor clear-up figures. So if massaging them is what is needed, I suggest you stick your thumbs in good and deep. 595 five, Sierra Oscar receiving. Go ahead, Tony. 155 Laycroft Road. Nothing more we can do here. Is Socko on our way? Next on our job sheet. We've had a report of a disturbance in uh, number 10 Commander's Crescent. Can you take it over? Well, do, Tim. I'll have to clear up. Sorry, not yet, Mrs. Tullett. No. You mustn't touch anything till the fingerprint people have been. Well, where will that it. be? Socko? As soon as possible. We've got to go somewhere else now, Mrs. Tullett. Oh. Would you like me to get somebody to sit with you, a neighbour? No. She won't no, be long. You. Well, how will I know it's her? Ask for her identification. It's a joke. I spoke to Vince at Stafford Road, and he reckons they've got a bloke almost permanent on prison visits, doing deals to clear up cases. Yeah, well... Yeah, and any snot-nosed juvenile they nick down there, he's lent on to cough for TICs. Well, there's nothing wrong with that, Frank. The kids get a clean start. Yeah, and Vince scrubs a load of unsolved cases off his books. Well, fair enough. Get some in. You get some in. I'm looking to nick serious villains, not toddlers. Who's this, then? We don't know, Sergeant. We don't? No, sir. What's he done? He's lost his memory. Found him wandering around Gresham Street. Thought I'd better bring him in. Did you? Wait, wait there for a moment, sir. Not the only one to have lost his memory, then, is he? I thought I said no tramps on my relief. No drunks, no buskers, no peddlers, no lost dogs. He's an amnesiac, Sarge. How do you know that? How do you know he isn't? Put him in there. I'll sort him out in a minute. I bet you after he's had a meal and a hot cup of tea, it'll all come back. His memory, I mean. Any joy? I think that's all that's missing. I keep remembering things. <laughs> yes. Is there any hope, do you think? There's always hope, Mrs. Tullett. Even if it's a small one. I see. Brooches, rings, necklaces, cash. Easy to dispose of. Mm, not the cash I mind so much as some of the other things. Some of them were mothers. Do you have some insurance? Oh, yes, but well out of date, I'm afraid. I know, because most of it was valued recently when I was redoing my will. So you can put a value on the things that are missing? About £12,000, I think. 12,000? More or less. That's a tidy sum, Mrs. Tollett. So you say you kept most of your valuables in an old handbag under here? Yes. The rest was in my dressing table upstairs. I, I thought it was safe. Well, would you like us to drop him off? Uh, just a sec. Reg, take a look at the bloke in the front interview room. What? See if you recognise him. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, we are making inquiries, yeah. One. Are you busy? Yeah, well, I, I thought you might be. Yeah, well, thanks. Yeah, I can't find it anywhere. I, I think it's one of these. Ever seen him before? And why? Who is he? Don't know. Neither does he. Amnesia. Oh. oh, this fella might know him. Oh. 
Sergeant Peters. You well? Not bad at all, sir. Reg, nip up and tell D.I. Burnside Mr. Jenkins is here, will you? Yeah. Oh, a small favour, Mr. Jenkins. There's a gentleman in there. Would you take a look at him, please? Does he need a solicitor? Not as far as I know. The brief, sir. What, Jenkins? Yeah. Michael. She's got Jenkins. So I reckon we can forget the immoral earnings. Couldn't we do it for running a disorderly house? No. You'll drive a coach and horses through what we got on her. Do the best you can. Send him through, sir. Not one of my clients, Sergeant. Worth a try. He had that sort of hunted look. They're expecting you, sir. I thought you were in on this case. Michael Dashwood's sorting it out now. It's unlike you to miss a kill. Got to give a bit of glory to the boys sometimes. <laughs> Sounds like I'm on a winner. Amnesia? You don't think it's a wind-up? I don't know. I just hope he's local, then someone might recognise him. You got hold of the doc? Been trying, but how can he tell? Well, same as always, Alec. You'll have a look at his sample. Cocky git. Who's that? Give you one guess. Seven letters, first letters J. Jehovah. Jenkins. Oh, it's close. Take a look at this, Gov. I just come from a break in. An old girl got done on Laycroft Road. Very clean job. Oh, yeah. Neat entry, not much mess. And away with 12 grand of stuff of easy to sell knickknacks. Professional. So? Well, it's just the old girl, the house, the street, didn't shout that sort of money. Oh, you know what the wrinklies are like, Tosh. A bunch of flaming squirrels hiding nuts. Very well hidden in this case. So, inside job? Neighbour? Relative? I'm checking. There's something rang a bell. Another case recently. The widower, remember? Even his family thought he was potless. And then somebody broke in and did it for 25 grand. Again? Very well hidden. Very little mess. Must have been a woman. <laughs> and there's a job we nicked Carl Benskin for. Pure that we got him. But the same ammo and another old girl who's got more than your credit. So? I'm not with you. I mean, you can't pin this job uh, today on Benskin. He's remanded in custody. He got bail. Bail? Yep. Bail? Well, nobody told me. How? He pleaded not guilty. Of course he did. That's to get an easier doss in jail. We had him nailed to the floor. Yeah. Well, didn't they look at his previous? Cockle. The CPS didn't get the file. Was the arresting officer there? He was off sick. Oh, brilliant. It's just one of those things. Who's Benskin's brief? Oh, don't tell me. Seven letters. First one's J. They say if you play music, it can unblock the mind. What was that to bring you out of a coma? Yeah, but this bloke's in a sort of coma. Any soldier. Nah, it's a very mysterious thing, the mind. Thank you, Sergeant. Oh, pleasure, sir. They, uh, say a Roy Orbison record often does a trick. Roy Orbison? Yeah, well, it's uh, something to do with the timbre of his voice. Yeah, that'll unblock anything. Sierra Oscar from Sierra Oscar 4, receiving over. Go ahead. This is Burnside. I'm at the Benskins flat. Tell Carver and Dashwood to get hold of the paperwork and get down here as quick as they like. Out. Will do. Sierra Oscar to Sierra Oscar 6. Yes, Tim. The yeah, Burnside's asking about his warrant. What's the position? Mike's in there now, getting it signed. Skip over safely, they're all over the fifth. What a Which box of frogs. Who let you in? Your delightful daughter, Lynn. The, the hostess with the mostess. <laughs> Tina? However, Brockle leads 
Yeah. I'm here on business. We're closed, we're closed with business, so push on. No, no. Well, bailed out then. You have a bit of ground on the inside. <laughs> this uh, really could develop into a cavalry charge, having gone very slowly early on. Matchmaster is uh, just the back marker. Tina? How are things? Working? Where? Supermarket. That's great. Shelf filling. It's a start. Z1. Just a few questions. So what happened to the hairdressing idea then? What hairdressing idea? Well, that's what you wanted to be last time we spoke. Don't remember that. Yeah, you told me. Change your mind. Are you after this time? Carl. What for? Has he been here all afternoon? Don't know. Been at work. Why are you bothering? They'll send him down at Crown Court anyway on that other job. Good riddance. I wish they'd all go down with him. Why do you stay? I've got no choice, ever. Right. Where were you earlier today between one and two o'clock? Here. Anyone see you? Yes. I'm talking about witnesses, not bin liners. What's going down? Laycroft Road, about 1.30ish. Some old girl lost her tranquilments. We got you in the frame. Sorry, Burnside, you cocked your leg up the wrong post. I don't think so. You left something. What? Your B.O., son. <laughs> funny. Turn it over. Hey, you got a warrant. What do you think this is, a flaming hymn sheet? Go on. Tosh, through the kitchen, in there. Deep for me, that one, Brenda. Tush! Yeah. Oh, word in your ear, Brenda. I think Grandad needs changing. What's the point in taking him back with us? Because he did it. Possibly, but we've got nothing. He should never have got bail in the first place. He knows he's going down next week, that's why he's putting something by. How many more jobs has he done, eh? Nine or half figures look naff. We can't hold him, Guff. He'll be ringing Jenkins now. You leave Jenkins to me. Go back and have another chat with the old dear. And uh, find out if Socko's come up with him. Yeah, right. What should you be doing? Well, I've done my paperwork. You know where to find me. Look, there's nothing to lose, Sarge. Oh, thank you. Take another for later. That's very nice, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. What's straight now? I want to ask you some more questions, uh, Mrs. Tollett. You say nobody knew about your bits and pieces? Well, I didn't show them off, Detective Constable. Uh, the odd item occasionally when I went out. The family knew? Oh, yes, of course, but even they didn't know my hiding place. And you didn't show a neighbour your valuables? I mean, altogether? No. Any recent visitors? Any gas men, council officials? Anybody had a reason or said they had a reason to come in and look around? No. I've been trying to think, but no, nobody. Hmm. Well, it's a very neat job. I'm not so upset for myself as for my children. It's all I had to hand on. And I just made everything straight in my will. Yeah, you told me. Which one to get which item? <laughs> no point now. But you said the family didn't know where you put your valuables? No. But if you died, Mrs. Tullet? Unexpectedly, say. They might not find them. Oh, well, it's in the will. In the will? Where to find them? Well, yes, of course. Of course, yes. Who's your solicitor, Mrs. Tollett? 
Mr. Langwade. Langwade? Of Langwade, Ford and Jenkins. Another biscuit, officer. Two sugars, if I remember rightly. You called Jenkins? I don't have to tell you about this, do I? You can leave that off. Not quite ready yet. Where's Jenkins? We're trying. We we'll try harder. Any chance for baiting Sarney with us? <laughs> Jim, I need your help urgent. Go on. I want you to go back in the files and check on some old burglaries. Frank, what are you doing with Ben's gun? It's Jenkins here. Not yet, no, he was held up at court. Well, in that case, I can keep him a bit longer. Go off, I think we found the link. Well, go on, then. Mr. Benskin, everything all right? Not as you nice. Now, we'll try some herb, Albert, and his Tijuana brass. So, what have you checked? The three burglaries I told you about. All the owners recently had wills done or redrafted at Langway, Ford and Jenkins. And there's others we think. Thank you. Looks as though it started about six months ago. Somebody new might have joined the practice. Possibly backroom staff. And what could be easier? With all the riffraff that Jenkins deals with, whoever was leaking the stuff had a ready-made market. You sure? Positive on those three. Cathy's still checking her lists. Terrific. And that's just on our patch. Do you want me to tell the other divisions? No, later. Tables, Tosh. Figures. I am going to enjoy this. Sierra Oscar to Sierra Oscar 227. Can you state your position? Sierra Oscar 227, Gresham Street. Over. Can you got a cable hamlet? An incident involving a fire. The fire service is in attendance. Will do, Oscar. Staff come and go so quickly. I'm afraid it's quite impossible to screen them properly. Yes, well, I'll need a list of your employees going back over six months. Of course. You uh, realise how damaging this could be for the practice. We're an old established firm, but we have nothing if not our good name. I appreciate that, Mr. Langwade. Hmm. Well, I know that you two are old friends, so I'll leave you to decide what's best to be done. Deal with it, Peter. Mr. Burnside. Looks like it's all over. We tie any more of these jobs into this gaff, and coincidence will go straight out the window. But still circumstantial, and the confession's unlikely. I'll sort it out this end. It will never happen again. That doesn't help the old dears who've lost their heirlooms, does it? No. What do you want, Frank? I want Benskin. You've got him. Not for these, I haven't. I want you to get him to ask for these other jobs to be taken into consideration. TICs? Benskin. You must be joking, Frank. He won't put his hands up to those. Why not? It's against his religion. Tough. Get in the car. What's with her? I reckon she started it. The fire? Put a match to the settee and curtains. Her mother came in to find her watching them go up in flames. Did you intend to do it? The whole block could have gone up. Injuries. Tina, you're the only member of your family who hasn't got a record. That's something to be proud of. 
It means something. Or is this the start? I even did for Barry, you know. Who's Barry? My boyfriend. He had to join the club. What happened? They did a job. He got nicked. Youth detention. You should have got away from them. Moved out. Where to? Where to? There's always somewhere. I told you, I've tried. I can ask around. Words, words, you can't do nothing. There is nowhere. I hate them. I hate you lot. I hate everybody. I just want to be left on my own. All right, Tina, I think you made your point. Let's start again, shall we? Any chance for a cup of tea? Sure. Michelle. Tina, if you admit to this, you're going to be remanded in custody. There's no bail for this. How did the fire start? I told you. I don't believe you. Why not? You can't drown a box of frogs, can you? Listen, love, you're not well. Not to you, mean? No, no, no. You just need some help. And you won't get it here. Not straight away. Now you think about that. Thank you, Sergeant. Benskin's just coughed for three TICs. Neat. Knock them off your figures. I already have. I was smoking on the settee and fell asleep. The cigarette end must have rolled under the cushion. I woke up and went into the kitchen to eat with the family. When I came back, the settee was on fire. Is that the statement you want to make? It's what you want me to say. You've got to sign it, love. All right. I'll go and see what I can do. What are you doing now, Hollis? Ah, uh, there's been some complaints, sir. About the canteen, I'm just checking. So what happened with your amnesiac? Oh, he's gone, Sarge. Yeah, it worked. Come back to him. Just like that. Well, well, well. So what was it? His name for the book. Oh, I have entered it, Sarge. Oh, good. Good work, Hollis. Well done. Dream that dream. <coughs> oh, Roy Alpert. Roy Alpert? I thought she'd admitted it. I didn't buy that, did you? I'm going to let her go. What do you think? Well, you know what I think about the Ben skins. Bang the lot of them up. But it's your pigeon. I just hope she's worth the risk. What's this? Stuff your statement. I'm not going back to that flat. Never. Lock her up, Tosh. She's a menace like all the rest. It's in the jeans. You can't beat them. Don't even try. <laughs> 